Hey beautiful, what's up? You look amazing. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate you appreciating me and I appreciate your beauty. Emma hates when I wink, but I still wink at you. That's not true. I want you to hate that. when I wink. I love when you wink at your audience. I think it's so nice that it's- Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was creepy. I don't like it when you wink at me. It's creepy. I don't mean to, Emma. It's a spasm, okay? Well, that's sad. Sorry, <laughs> I won't comment ever again. I'll just be like, you just winked, okay? Today so we're watching people ruin their hair with some scissors. People are gonna be giving themselves a haircut at home with some craft scissors and kitchen scissors and stuff like that, I believe. Why don't we just go ahead and watch them and see what happens and um, judge them as much as possible while still accepting them for who they are and their mistakes that they made. Let's do it. Yeah, it's a vocal fry. Uh, I've been watching this guy on um TikTok who does um voiceover things. Every like time he he redoes a line, he's like <laughs> to like probably to like fix his diaphragm. Because diaphragm, exactly. <laughs> 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 start doing that. Oh my god, I killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> that's what he does. It's so fun. First up, we have a vid. <laughs> First. <laughs> Let's begin the video. I have come to the decision that my hair must be cut. She has really pretty hair. Really great natural waves, also really blonde. I like it a lot. I don't think she needs it cut, but she could. She's in need of some layering or something to give her a little more volume on the top of her head, a little dense down here, but I don't think she's gonna be able to do that herself. First step to anything would probably be to choose like method I'm gonna do. That's actually the most basic of how to start something is choosing a method. So I thought you already did that, but I thought wrong. So that's good that we're gonna do it now rather than never. First step is to brush out my hair. So let's do that really quick. I really don't like how it looks when it's brushed out. It's less wavy, but. Are we? <laughs> Are we not going to straighten the hair before we do this. There's a lot of reasons why that's so wrong. When your hair is wavy and you cut a straight line, the line's not gonna be straight, you know what I mean? That's a bad idea and I don't like it. My hair is really thick, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work. So I've decided to put my hair in a ponytail and I'm gonna cut it. You know what? The ponytail method is probably the worst one you could have chose. This is gonna give you a lot of layering and a lot of like, God, God, God. Like, like steps going down your hair. And it's gonna make the front really, really short because you're over directing everything to the front and all those pieces in the front are pulled up right here. That means when it's let down, these pieces are gonna be like that short. The ones in the back are gonna be like that long. Too much over direction. Um, so I saw in this video that you're supposed to put like a little tie down here where you're gonna cut it. She's gonna cut that much with that elastic in it. We're gonna go a little snip snip, okay? Ooh. Oh, okay, so we're not cutting that much off. We're cutting literally an inch off. Preparing me for the worst. At least she has hair cutting scissors. Oh, wait, what did I do? Those ends definitely needed to just go. They're messy and to split. <laughs> Try. What is that? You missed one single piece. I'm glad that she's not cutting it short because if she did, she would have got that really ugly layering in the front. This might be okay since it's just a very small amount. Let's just do some snips into it like this, like. Okay, thinning it out is, is definitely an option here. We need a little bit of variation in there with links. So we're taking it out now. Can't wait to see it. Okay. Oh my God. That's what happens when you pull all the hair forward. That looks really bad. The ponytail method is never the way to go. Let me just tell all of you that. Don't ever do that to your own head because you will end up with a ledge of hair. Especially when you part your hair to the side, it's gonna look all messed up because one side's gonna have a ledge, the other side's not gonna, because you're pulling it all up like that and you're letting it back down. She's gonna have a hard time fixing that, really hard time. Oh, honey girl, baby girl, baby, honey. That is a ledge if I've ever seen one. Let's take a moment to say R.I.P. to my hair. Okay. R.I.P. R.I.P. What's that song? R.I.P. to the world and the bump of the gold. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. I have no idea what the name is, but I know what You do. R.I.P. R.I.P. in the P. 
It's such like a random song. I don't think it's any song. No. Oh, I don't need to smell your. I can smell it all the way from here. Smell what? Your breath. I can't. You know what you are, Brad? I'm a. A breath of fresh air. You think you can smell my breath from literally sitting over there? Yeah, I can. You're out of your mind. So are you. <laughs> what you did you never you never noticed. So now we're just gonna tie it up into two ponytails and we're gonna chop off the bottom here. We're gonna have to choose where we're cutting off the bottom. We wanna cut off maybe two inches or so, so right about here. The thing is that you're pulling all your hair forward again. So you're gonna get longer hair in the back and shorter hair in the front, and it's gonna be all weird and gross. I can't cut all the way through, so I'm just gonna have to do some sort of choppiness. We're still cutting our hair wavy, in the wavy state, um, which is interesting. So I think what we're gonna do now is do these choppy up and down things. Okay, so we're just taking kind of random chunks out wherever we think is necessary. Whoa, what a surprise. I sort of like it though, because I really want my hair to be shorter, so. It's gonna look really bad in the back, I can already tell. It's literally so long in the back and so short in the front. I mean, luckily she seems like she wears her hair wavy always, so you might not be able to see the, the messed up parts. This side's a lot thinner. Maybe I didn't do it right. This side is so much thinner. Oh my god. What would have been better is if she took out the ponytail and, well, I mean, the whole thing could have been done better, but with the thinning moment, um, first of all, you could buy thinning shears, which is just like a little few teeth missing and you just ch 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 chomp it away and you get rid of some hair. You probably don't want to buy the scissors. So um, this way you just let go of the pony, pull up some hairs and just cut into it. Not all of it at once. It's too much hair for the scissors. Plus if you do that, you'll get like weird missing spots. Maybe I can't really see what it looks looks like all the way. Maybe that looks terrible. I feel like it looks okay though. Thank you, Marissa. Listen, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. That is for sure. Wasn't the best either, but I definitely had fun watching you and thank you so much for making the video. I enjoyed it. Thanks, Marissa. Let's move on to the next video. Next video is by Iris Love Unicorns. Um, this is called Cutting My Hair Short. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if my voice is shaking today because I'm so nervous for this video. Why is she so pretty? Um, also, her hair is really pretty. Why are we cutting it ourselves? So I'm gonna start just dividing the hair. I'm gonna divide it in half and then split each part into two again and do this for sections. Okay, so we began sectioning and she's doing good sectioning. And I want to cut right above here and I'm going to braid this part. Oh, whoa. It just hit me how much hair she's cutting. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Her hair is really thick as well. I like what's going on here. She directed the hair down this way and down this way and she's doing four different sections. She's using elastic. She's braiding. It all looks really good. I'm excited. I'm super nervous right now. It's time for me to cut. I'm going to cut right above this one. Uh I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. Mm, I'm sad to see the hair go, honestly. Too late to back down. She's going really short. Good for her. Listen, she's doing a pretty good job. The only worry I have is that it's gonna be so thick when she's done. It's all gonna sit right here. Add a lot of wideness to her face if she doesn't do layering and other stuff. So two down, two to go. Oh, and we're done. She looks so much younger. She just aged backwards. All right, get it, sis. Wish I could do the same. <laughs> <laughs> I just choked him. I know, I was waiting for that. That's I just it. choked on my own uvula. I said that in the beginning. Uvula? <laughs> uvula. I hated that. Oh. My little dangly thing that's playing in the back of my throat. I know, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling so happy and honestly, I'm not nervous anymore because I'm loving it. I feel like I'm like younger. All right, so I'm gonna show you all the braids. Here we go. We have four braids now here. She seems so excited about it, so I'm getting really excited about it. Next thing to do is actually to dye my hair and I'm gonna dye it exactly this color. She's dyeing it all dark. I loved the color. Like, listen, I love a good change, but I also can't help but say that I loved what she had going on. I have the hair dye here already makes it looking kind of khaki, brown, muddy shade. And I'm just going to remove here. All right, 
guys, so the hair dye is all over the hair now, so I'm really feeling this look actually. My bangs are like pulled away right now. I just washed it and honestly, I really love it so far. This is a change. She just went from e-girl to business girl. I'm gonna call my mom for help and I'm gonna um, shove my hair. But I'm just going to go by layers and really make it in a line, really cut it in a line so it's correct. And I'm gonna cut something like this as well to take some volume away. I don't know the exact terms, so don't come for me. Okay, so mom's fixing it. Okay, thank God, because it wasn't looking too good. Hopefully mom can actually fix it. So I just finished cutting the hair and I just blow dried it and straighten it up a little bit. So are you ready for the final reveal? Here I go. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. I love the bangs. She has great bangs. Did you have that on your face the entire time? What's on it? You have, a, you have something right here. No, the other eye. Can you not see that? Are you lying? Did you have that on your face the entire time? What? That mustache? Oh! <laughs> oh, I must ask you a question. <laughs> It's really, really a big change. I also chopped my bangs a little bit, just a tiny bit, and I'm just feeling it. I love it. I really love it. I love when it's just tied up like this, and I love it behind the ear like this. It kind of suits me. I'm not gonna lie, I loved her hair before, but it is a fun change. I miss that color that she had. I mean, obviously she looks amazing both ways. Like she's just a really f pretty girl, but I miss it. I don't know, two totally different looks that both work very well, but. Up next we <laughs> up next <laughs> Do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna like, you're gonna choke on your own. Like, gonna come I think it actually works. <laughs> up next we have a video by US Jimmy. <laughs> I'm gonna you. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Don't okay, laugh. fine. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Up next, we have a video by US Japan Fam. This is called DIY Bob Haircut for Ponytail. Quarantine haircut for beginners. Try at your own risk. You know, we just got out of three weeks of quarantine and I thought, what better way to celebrate than to give myself a haircut? Since, uh, you know, I'm finally gonna be able to go out in public, why not have a haircut that looks absolutely horrible? Spoke too soon, girl. <laughs> She's like literally like, oh, oh no, that was last like, year. Hair. Like she ruins her hair just to like go out and then all of a sudden it's like lockdown. <laughs> yeah. This purple mama is really cute. It's cute. I like the bangs. I like the bob. It needs to be a little fixed up. Hopefully that's what's going on today. I'm going to try a new technique. I don't know if this DIY bob haircut is going to be that easy or it's going to come out absolutely horrible. But the idea behind it is you pull it back and this hair will naturally see how long that hair is compared to here. So it'll just naturally create this like A-frame. It's gonna go really bad. There's no way it'll go good because pulling your hair back into a ponytail is gonna create the most jagged A-line bob you could possibly imagine. Like when you do an A-line bob in the salon, it's a lot of work and it's annoying. We're not just about to get an A-line bob with a ponytail. I wish. Actually, I don't. There would not be a lot of hairdresser jaws, but you know what I mean. Does this look good? Again, I, like I always do this blindly. I may end up with a haircut to match my daughter who I shaved the bottom half of her hair last week. Okay. Here we go. Somebody take the scissors away from this woman. A main thing she did wrong here was pull the hair into a tight ponytail that was like at the bottom of her neck. It would have been better if she pulled it down to here, but up here she's gonna get all this kind of stacking going on. You'll see, it's gonna look so bad. Oh. My god. It's exactly the same in the front. Really didn't cut off any length here. I may trim that up a little. All right, let me see. Oh gosh. I don't think that came out very good in the back. I can feel it. I'm mean, gonna like trim this up here. Just trimming it up here. Girl, uh-uh. Mm-mm-mm-mm, no miss honey. All right, what do we think? Choppy, I like it. I like it, the choppy. In a pinch, guys, the ponytail bob actually works. You're gonna have to still trim it because there's like random bits hanging out that were a bit uneven. But for a choppy, quick, 
hut. Why not? I'm happy that you love it and you obviously look incredible and amazing and you look like you're having a lot of fun doing it. So why not keep doing it? Maybe next time you could implement a few new techniques. Maybe after you do that sort of thing that you just did, you can take out some pie slices and pull them out this way and then do a little trim and trim. That way you get some nice better stacking going on and it's a little more streamlined and smooth and you don't have a bunch of like straggly hairs going on. Other than that, great effort. Well, those were some undesirable results from at-home haircuts. Don't do a drastic haircut by yourself. You can maybe trim your ends a little bit or just do a little sun, but let's not do anything too scary by ourselves, okay? If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do or right down below. It's right there. Hit the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video and the like button. Make sure you guys text me at this number right here. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see all your messages. And yes, I will be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. It'll also notify you every time I post a new video. If you guys wanna check out my hair care line, Xmondo Hair, you can do so at Xmondo Hair on Instagram. And it is linked below, xmondohair.com. You can also check out my color line that is all sold out right now. You can sign up for our waiting list to be notified when our products get back in stock, which is soon. Link below is the website. Make sure you guys check me out everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me. If you guys want to live your extra life, make sure you check out my Live Your Extra Life merch that is now available at xmonohair.com. It is linked below. Here it all is. It's so cute. It's so fun. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Heather. She says, I have super curly hair and haven't dyed it since high school. I really want something different, but something that looks still kind of professional and something that won't look weird with my curls. I was wondering if highlights and a balayage with a lighter brown color or burgundy will look good. Or do you have any other ideas? Yes, that is such a good idea. Yeah, burgundy with some balayage, mm, chef's kiss, beautiful, I would love it. And maybe if you really wanted to switch it up a little bit, do a little bang moment. I love curly bangs. Make your hair a little bigger and fluff it up. Ooh, that all together would look so good. If you end up doing it, I would love to see it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.